I think today is gonna be a good day. Good morning, it's Mike from Finding Fish. Welcome to Bangkok. Massive travel day yesterday. And I finally got here late last night. Took a cab from uh, Suwanaboom Airport into the heart of Bangkok. About 19 Canadian dollars, 500 baht. Well worth every single penny. Totally got lost. This is exactly why I got a really good cabbie. We're totally lost, but guess what? He's sorting it all out and I don't even have to worry about a thing. He's just getting an extra tip. The cab driver phones a hotel. The hotel people come out and grab me. Fantastic, the people here, I can't say enough. Anyway, in this video, we're gonna be exploring everything that Bangkok has to offer. So why don't you stay with me? Cause today is gonna be amazing. Now first things first, I need to get some money exchanged. I was down here last night, and from day to night, it's totally different vibe. Take a look. Nothing on the streets right now, but later on tonight, this will be full of vendors selling food. Let's keep going. Oh, look at that, currency exchange right here. So I just got myself some spending money for the day. Anyway, I just broke 100 Canadian, it got me about 2,600 baht. That'll be good enough for, I say two or three good days, or probably even more than that. Anyway, let's get our day started. Now, I'm starting my day off here in the Bangkok Canals. For 16 Thai baht or 60 Canadian cents. I'm gonna tour around for a couple hours this morning and figure out where I wanna go. want to fall in there now if you're coming to Bangkok and you want to do that it can be confusing but there's a lot of people here that are gonna help you out but it's still gonna be confusing anyway next stop Chinatown you can get yourself some fresh fruit all sliced up for starting at 20 baht it's about 75 cents Canadian but you can always find a 7-Eleven right behind me. Okay, that smells really good. Thank you. A little bit of street meat. This was 15 baht. Mm. Piping hot. It's actually nice and cool back here. Oh, it's really cool back here. This is awesome. So right now, I think I'm in Chinatown, at the Chinatown area. I'm just in these little labyrinths, these little corridors, checking things out. You know, one thing I've learned in life is when you see a lot of people in a congested little area, it's probably going to be a good little spot. And busy is an understatement. Okay, I just got myself a little piece of chicken for my 20 baht. I don't know off the top of my head, probably less than a dollar. I was kind of in those, like, I don't know what you want to call it. Just tons of little aisles and that building went on forever. Anyway, I'm just gonna grab a little bit of food right now, have this, and we're gonna keep exploring. I'm probably gonna take the boat taxi and start heading back towards my hotel area because I'm quite a way away and to go check out that area, the before and after, but tonight, it will get busy with all the street vendors, the food vendors coming out. Anyway, let's keep going. I can go in any direction and it goes forever. And just like that, I did a great big loop and I'm back at the 7-Eleven I started at. but 
I think you can drink this water. I think I read that once before on the internet. Like literally, you have about uh, 20 to 30 seconds to get on and off the boat because they just run and gun. And just like that, I'm back where I started. It's chaotic, but it works. Anyway, let's go find a beer. Okay, I made it back from Chinatown, took the boat taxi back home, made it to my hotel, got cleaned up and organized, and now I'm here. Remember this morning I showed you the street? It wasn't very busy? Well, take a look now. And the stalls will just keep coming and this street is gonna get even busier. Last night I was out here till three o'clock in the morning and it starts to die off about three, four o'clock in the morning. Now the reason I was out here so late is because I didn't get here till two in the morning. By that time, you know, this place is starting to settle down. There's another area where everyone goes and they go party all night and I don't know where that is and I don't intend to find out. Let's go find some dinner and let's get a beer. Remember I was saying, I was standing right here and I'll say this street was gonna get busy. Now this place is located just down from my hotel. So honestly, it's probably a three or four minute walk and it's like my second home. Now for dinner tonight, I just got the crispy pork and noodles. I think it was about 70 baht. I don't know how much that is, but I'll put that in the description up above. And it came with like a little broth that you can pour it in so you can either have a soup or just the crispy noodles. And I got myself a ice cold Leo. 100 baht, I'll put the price up above in a few seconds. Anyway, let's indulge. Now the area that I'm in is known for all the restaurants, massages, street food, street vendors. They're all right here. Like literally three or four minute walk from my hotel room. So I'm so lucky to have picked this. All the food is handmade, hand cooked. You can hear them in the background right now, sauteing up all the vegetables. And the crispy pork is crispy. I didn't really know what to expect when I was coming to Bangkok but I did. Because we've all seen Instagram, we've all seen YouTube. A lot of us have seen Feed Phil. So you kind of know what you're gonna get into. It blows your mind how much different it is than what you really would expect. It's massively spread out, but it's small at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. And you feel like you, you fit in. That's such a great feeling to feel when you fit in. Because it just makes your uh, experience that much better. Anyway, that's it for me. Dinner's done, I'm full, I'm tired, and I'm gonna head back to my hotel. Stay with me during my Thailand series. I'm in Bangkok for another week, and then I'm heading to Phuket, Koh Samui, and onward. Anyway, like, subscribe, and guess what? I'll see you in the next video.